Sup guys, so today we got something completely new for you lot, we got a Gen 5 battle. It's nice to know that even in 2019 people are still playing Gen 4 and 5. So I was hearing in my discord that people are actually doing Gen 5 battles, they found another way around it, the servers are still up. So I was like okay cool how are people doing it and they're actually using their 3DS to play Gen 5. And I was like, that is pretty cool. So I hopped on the bandwagon and yeah, I had a bunch of opponents to go through who were like all set up. So today, battle number one, find a guy called Kaz, a uh, pretty decent YouTuber. I've been on his channel. As usual, I always link channels, uh, their version of the battle. Just check out the description. And yeah, so he was my first opponent. I was like, damn man, I'm a bit rusty, but I want to do this because these are these are the gens that made Wi-Fi battling. So today we have an OU battle. I went and dug up my teams. I thought, okay, let's go see what teams I got. I got a rain team. So I was like, cool, I'm going to use that. Um, if I remember correctly, Gen 5 is all weather battles. So I was like, okay, cool. I can do a weather battle. So, so I'm just going to touch up on the team briefly, kind of like how it was in my previous videos. Because I want everyone to be like on the same page of what sets I'm running. So this is a defensive Politoed. It's going to set up the rain. We've got abilities. Yeah, I'm not used to that. A bit rusty. Leftovers Politoed. Defensive. And then we got defensive Ferrothorn. Again with leftovers. And we've got choice specs. Tornadus. I was like, okay, that was really cool. Um, I think I had the other form. The other Tornadus form. But that thing's uber. So I have to use this form. And um, yeah, we got mono attacking Latias with Dragon Pulse, uh, max speed, leftovers. Um, this Drachi set, man, this was interesting because I was looking at this and I remember this is a complete custom set made by me. So it's a specially defensive set and I've done it so it's an icy wind set. So after one icy wind, we're running enough speed to outspeed base 100. And uh, yeah, it's for the rain team. So I've put Thunder in here, Iron Head. And yeah, it's kind of like a mixed attacker. And then we got Breloom. Now this is interesting. Choice Scarf Breloom. It's just to throw my opponents off. So I can get a Choice Scarf Spore. And yeah. So this is going to be my team. And um, if we look at my opponent's team real quick. Just to see what we got here. I noticed that straight away he has an Exatu. And if I remember correctly. Because obviously I've not been playing with abilities for a while. These things have Magic Bounce. So... That is an issue. That is an issue for Hazard. That is an issue for um, my Breloom. My Breloom just gets stopped straight away because if I want to spore something, I've got to be careful. And also, the typing of Zatu completely walls my Breloom. Um, he's got Skarmory, so I know he sent up Hazards, and I don't have a spinner. And yeah, I'm looking at his team. It's a bit mixed. I saw a Cofagoras, and I was like, what? Is that thing OU? Like, I've never seen that before. And Kyrim, I don't understand because... Um, Regular Kyrim, Reshiram, and Zekrom are all Uber. And then Kyrim White is Uber, but Kyrim Black is OU. I never understood that. But anyway, I'm like, okay, we can do this. Um, I looked at his team, and this is the order I think he had in. So I saw Skarmory in the first slot. And I was thinking what to lead. I could lead um, Jirachi, I can lead Breloom. Actually, the first thing I noticed was he's not carrying a weather user. So I was like, immediately, I want to lead Politoed. Simply because he just doesn't have a weather user. So if I set up rain, the way weather works in Gen 5 is the weather lost the whole battle. That was the last time it, that mechanic ever stayed. After Gen 6, um, weather only lasted like 5 turns. But in Gen 5, if you set up weather, that weather was to stay. Unless you change the weather. So if I set up weather, turn 1, that weather won't go anywhere. So, so yeah, I think that's about enough talking. I think we should get straight into the battle. So I do go ahead and lead with Politoed because like I said, I want that weather up as soon as possible. And I believe he leads with Skarmory because uh, he wants to get his hazards up. I thought he might do that, but I thought what's the worst that can come? I get a weather boosted um, Scald in the rain. So yeah, he sets up Stealth Rock. He's going to outspeed me. And I thought, cool, I'm just going to hit with a Scald. Maybe I can just get it really low. However, Sturdy became a thing in Gen 5 where you don't matter if you're going to get KO'd, you'll live on one health or something. So we don't do just about enough, but we get the burn and everything. I don't think that's going to matter. So next turn, um, I, he outspeeds anyway, but he's carrying a Custa Berry, which is really interesting. I thought that was really cool. So he uses that, gets a layer of spikes, and now I have to deal with Stealth Rock and Spike the entire game. So that's all to stay. 
Can't do anything about that. So we get one thing out of the way, so I'm okay with that. He brings this thing in, and honestly, I'm just rusty, so I just need to see what this thing does. So I thought, oh, let's get a Toxic on this thing, that would be good. He goes for a Substitute, and I'm like, god damn, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. So, luckily, back in the day, I, I put some stuff on this set for, like, ladder, so I do carry um, Perish Song. So here I know I'm going to take damage, but this thing's a physical attacker and win max defense. So considering we're at full health, I know we can take one hit. And then we go for the Paris song. Luckily I have this thing on my set, because I think I would have been done here if I didn't have Paris song. So now we just got to stall out three turns. So I'm thinking, alright Politoed, you still have some use, let's get back. And then what's the best thing to switch into? So I thought, let's go Ferrothorn, because... To my understanding, this thing is a dragon electric attacker, maybe an ice attack. So I thought, whatever moves that he has, Ferrothorn can wall it. And then I put this thing in to take an attack, because uh, Perish Song is counting down, so he has to switch out sooner or later. And then I thought right here, he might go into Zatu. He might predict um, hazards or something, because that thing, that Zatu is going to be such a problem with Magic Bounce. So I actually switch out here. I thought um, if he wants to stay in and go for an Ice Beam, he can, but I actually predicted him to switch out. So I went into Drachi just to be safe in case he goes for an Ice Beam, because uh, Drachi is a specially defensive set. So he does actually go for an Ice Beam, so we're going to take that really nicely. And here he has to switch out, because Perish Song, I believe, is on count one. And I'm thinking to go for a Thunder. I'm thinking Zatu's going to come in, or um, whatever comes in, we can maybe paralyze. But then I thought, actually, do you know what, if Zatu does come in, this might still be worth trying to sell rocks. So, I clicked on Stealth Rock this turn, and Zatu did come in, and I thought, alright, fine. It doesn't matter, because he's already set up rocks. So, now we just go for the Thunder. So, I thought, it, is, it doesn't really matter he bring this thing in, because I'm just going to Thunder it. However, he U-turns. So, I was like, oh, okay, I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to end up Thundering the wrong thing. Um, I'm not sure what he's bringing in. So he brings um, the Gyarados in. <laughs> I was like, oh dear. <laughs> when I read that name, when I saw, no, sorry, when I saw it was Gyarados, I was like, oh dear, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I really thought it was bringing Kyrin back in or something, but then I thought, no, wait, I got Iron Head. So I, I didn't actually know what he was switching into, but yeah, I bet he did not expect that. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, usually these sets, I think, have Body Slam and stuff, but you can still go with Thunder, it's still got a high Paralyzed chance. So he brings this thing in, and I know this thing's here to stay, so I go for the Stealth Rock again, because I need that, especially if he's got Kyrim on his team. And he goes for a Nasty Plot, so I was like, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, what's this thing doing? So, I believe I go for the Thunder here. Um, Thunder has like a 30% Paralyzed chance, but on a draw he should have 60. So at this point, I'm going for the Power, because uh, Serene Grace is the ability for draw -Chi. He goes for Trick Room. I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Nasty plot trick room. So I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I cannot seem to get the paralyzed. So at this point, I just thought I need to switch out. And uh, I believe I go back into um, Polytoad to sack it off. So this is pretty much death fodder. Uh, it's to kill a turn of trick room. And honestly, my Polytoad is looking weak off the hazard. So I'm going to take a plus two Shadow Ball. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I do have Ferrothorn in the team. It's like my anti-trick room counter. So, um, Ferrothorn should be slower than this thing. And I wasn't sure if I want to set up hazards or something. I want to do something damaging. I didn't really want to go for Power Whip because um, I might miss. So, I actually go for the lead Seed. I thought I could drain a lot of health back from it. Um, he goes for a Hidden Power of a Sword. I thought, is it Fire? What is it? But I think this is Fighting because it would make sense, because uh, ghost types can't hit normal types. So, also, yeah, it's good against dark types. So, yeah, I, I didn't see that one coming. Um, so, I go back into Drachi. I'm thinking Drachi is a steel type here, and steel type resists um, ghost. So, this damage is not going to be super effective, even though I'm part psychic. So, I can take one, because I'm specially defensive. And maybe because I've been playing... Um, Let's go a lot. I thought Leech Seed is going to drain a lot as well. So we go for a Thunder, trying to get another Paralyzed, just, just as like some sort of luck. I can't seem to get the Paralyzed. Drachi is letting me down. And um, yeah, I thought Leech Seed is going to give me a lot back, because it seems to give so much in Let's Go. And then it actually doesn't even give me much, um, as I expected. 
So I kind of have to let Jirachi die. I don't really have a choice. Um, I don't know. I like this set. I'm not a big fan of the Scarf set. The Scarf set is like my biggest weakness. I have I lose sleep over that set. It just haunts me. But anyway, his Trick Room ends this turn. So I'm bringing my Tornadus. And I think it's time to spam some Hurricanes. Because um, Hurricane in the Rain has 100% hit accuracy. So yeah. Um, he brings in his Jirachi. And I wasn't sure what kind of set it is. So I hit with a Hurricane. And this was... <laughs> This was insane, right? It's part steel type, but look how much damage I do. So I know the next one's probably gonna kill it. He gets confused, and I'm thinking, all right, that's even more better for me. But he switches out, so I guess he doesn't wanna risk um, the confusion. He goes into this thing, and this thing is bulky as hell. Like, the health stat on this thing is crazy. He takes stealth rock damage, 25%. And look at this, look at this hurricane damage. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like, because I haven't been playing with items, I didn't realize how powerful these choice items are. Look at choice specs, absolutely destroy that thing. <laughs> that is insane. And then he goes back into this thing. So I still I still wasn't sure what set it is, but I thought, you know, I can kill it. He goes for an Iron Head, so now I know he's a Scarf set. And I was like, God damn it, it's my worst nightmare. Because the thing about these sets is they flinch. So they outspeed because of choice Scarf, and Iron Head has a 60% chance to flinch and I was like god damn it he had to bring this one thing I hate so I go into Breloom to scare him out with a spore or something but I actually go for a prediction here I predict Zatu to come in because it's like the ultimate counter to this thing and he does play Zatu so luckily I'm carrying Stone Edge because I'm a choice scarf set normally these things don't carry Stone Edge so he had nothing to lose by switching this thing in because uh, if I went for spore he bounced it back if I go for either stab move, he resists. So yeah, I managed to get a lucky kill on that thing. And then he goes back into this thing now, knowing I'm scarfed. So he goes for an ice punch. I don't think this will kill me. And I'm locked into Stone Edge, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to go for Stone Edge again. And yeah, unfortunately, Brilliant just didn't really get to do anything this game. So I've weakened this Jirachi, I think, enough to like let other things finish it off. So he finishes off Brilliant. And at this point, I think I'm just down to my Latias. So I go put my Latias in there. So here I only have one attack. I only have Dragon Pulse. So I go for the Dragon Pulse. He switches out. And to my understanding, he did this because he thought I had Draco Meteor. Um, yeah, I don't. So this thing is going to be two hit KO. Luckily, I have Calm Mind. So I was hoping that maybe, you know, this thing wouldn't be an issue. Um, Dragon Pulse does enough damage to just kill it the next turn. So he was hoping that I'll go to minus two and try to win with Jirachi. And yeah, so this thing will be enough to KO. And honestly, because he was carrying Trick Room, I did not expect him to have a Choice Scarf Jirachi. Because um, that's pretty brave, having a Trick Room and a Choice Scarf on the same team. So he brings in Jirachi, my worst nightmare. And he has to do what he has to do here. He has no choice but to go for the flinches and flinch me to death. He goes for the first Iron Head. Unfortunately, he does not paralyze me. Um, sorry, flinch me. So I just go for a Dragon Pulse and finish this thing off. And luckily, um, Latios won it for me. So yeah, that was the game. That was a really good game, man. I, <laughs> nevertheless, I was rusty, but I mean, I, I enjoyed that. I think that was really cool. It was something to, I think it was amazing to revisit this gen. So yeah, I got a lot more battles to come. Anyway, hope you lot enjoyed today's battle. Stay tuned, and I'll see you lot in the next one.